I graduated from McCook Community College in 1989. My current profession is a Chief Financial Officer. I'm an accountant here at McCook National Bank. I'm originally born in McCook, but raised in Culbertson, Nebraska. Uh, graduated from there in 1986. Left for a short period of time to go to the military, came back from basic training, and knew that I needed to enroll in college. And McCook uh, visited with me about timing, and, and I visited with the guidance counselors in high school. But I'd found out I was colorblind at my military physical, so a different profession I originally started for um, didn't, didn't uh, come to fruition. I was going to be a mechanic, so you're looking at an accountant that was going to be a mechanic. Uh, visited with um, Elizabeth Jasnock at the time, uh, talking about my skills and my testing scores, and we started looking at some accounting classes. So a little bit of counseling on my first, really my first visit to the campus, I, I really did find out that maybe I should look at some business classes and signed up for a few general studies, and today uh, I'm thankful I am colorblind. You know, the small class size and the ability to visit with the instructor night and day. Um, I can remember being in the computer lab, and yeah, we had computer labs that far back, but uh, being in the computer lab and, and calling the instructor at night and saying, hey, we're having trouble with something, and we, we can't get it to work. And I'd be sitting with teammates on my group project, and we were literally at a standstill until... Mr. Hall showed up and talked to us about computer programming a little bit and where our issue was and we solved it that night and worked together. So the class sizes were really important, the availability of instructors. I have to admit the cost was very advantageous um, in comparison to some of the other options I had looked at, but I really knew that if I was going to succeed I needed to utilize all the resources McCook Community College had for me. I was prepared. The college prepared me to go into university classes. I was not prepared to step into a classroom with 200 plus students and, and be a number in some of the general ed requirements that I still needed for my degree at the University of Nebraska. And, um, it, it's, it's a different world when you sit in an auditorium classroom and you, don't, and you know three people, the guy on the left, the guy on the right, and the person in front of you. Those are the people you end up knowing by the end of the semester. It was different. I, I passed the CPA exam in 1992, although I've never worked for a public accountant. I knew that there were several accounting firms in the area. All of those things were secondary though. The quality of life here and the ability to raise a family and, and have a diverse uh, background and upbringing was the reason I chose to come back. I, I really wanted to be in a safe, um, the longer I've been here I can include the word loving, community, um, where, where my family and, and my profession would both give me great reward. I can tell you that education by itself is the single greatest influencing factor in my life um, as to where I'm at today. And I know that the staff that were in place at the time, um, Elizabeth Benjamin, uh, Jim Hall, Lyle Moskal, just some names from the past, uh, are the same types of people that are there today. They care and, and have compassion and concern about your performance and your success. And because of that, I really speak highly and, and would recommend the experience of a diverse but yet close to home education. I'm very excited. I, I, I've had a chance to get to know quite a few of the staff members over the last few years and a few of the new additions. Um, I'm really excited. Most technology continues to be a pretty important piece and I've noticed at, at every turn the college does its own self-assessment of where are we today, where do we want to be next year, and where should we be in five years. And I, I'm, I'm really of that mindset that if you're not stressing, you can't rest on your laurels in today's educational world. So I really do think that the college is doing the right things to be prepared for the future. Mid Plains is probably, first of all, they're a very large employer in our area. So as a school board member for many years, I, I see the value of Mid Plains as an employer. But more importantly, edu I still believe education is the number one way for a family to achieve and, and provide for their future goals. Um, that said, I know the value Mid Plains brings to our trade area. And from my view, 
as a taxpayer, as a parent, a school board member, an employee in a business that benefits from them, I see them as a partner for our community.